In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Prayer to Jesus, the Divine Word. Dear Jesus, Divine Word made flesh. From the beginning, you already were. Before even time began, you are Son, and with the Father and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you were created man, became man yourself. Through God, the Holy Spirit, and Mary, you became Jesus, divine word made flesh. You came to our world to save us and show us how to live and love here, so we may live and love here after. Dear Jesus, divine word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer, we come face to face with you, like you with the Father and Holy Spirit. In love and service, we may likewise come, come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them, most of all. For as we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name, we pray now, always and in all ways. Amen. Blessed day to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Saturday, fourth week in ordinary time. Our Mass beside you today is Reverend Father Julian SBD, Associate priest of the shrine. Our celebration will now begin. We stand. Come, let us sing, let us praise the Lord, and gather in His altar to worship His name. Come, let us pray, let us all We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. It is beautifully said and sung you know, in our entrance hymn. The invitation to come, the invitation to receive God's blessings. And that is our reading is all about being with God, receiving his blessings, and giving ourselves more energy to do God's will. And so by coming together, we pray that may God bless us with the spiritual blessing of this Eucharistic celebration. And so prepare our hearts for this encounter and call to mind our sins and ask God's mercy and compassion. 
I confess to Almighty God, and to you, to you my, my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. As we pray, we ask the intercession of the saint that we celebrate today, Saint Agatha, Virgin, and Martyr. Let us pray. May the Virgin Martyr Saint Agatha implore your compassion for us, O Lord, we pray, for she found favor with you. By the courage of her martyrdom and the merit of her chastity, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. Solomon went to Gibeon to sacrifice there because that was the most renowned high place. Upon its altar, Solomon offered a thousand burnt offerings. In Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream at night. God said, Ask something of me, and I will give it to you. Solomon answered, You have shown great favor to your servant, my father David, because he behaved faithfully toward you with justice and an upright heart. And you have continued this great favor toward him, even today, sitting a son of his own on his throne. O Lord my God, you have made me your servant, king to succeed my father David. But I am a mere youth, not knowing at all how to act. I serve you in the midst of the people whom you have chosen, a people so vast that it cannot be numbered or counted. Give your servant, therefore, an understanding heart to judge your people and to distinguish right from wrong. For who is able to govern this vast people of yours? The Lord was pleased that Solomon made this request. So God said to him, Because you have asked for this, not for a long life for yourself, nor for riches, nor for the life of your enemies, but for understanding, so that you may know what is right, I do as you requested. I give you a heart so wise and understanding that there has never been anyone like you up to now. And after you, there will come no one to equal you. In addition, I give you what you have not asked for, such riches and glory that among kings there is not your like. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. How shall a young man be faultless in his way by keeping to your words? Lord, teach me your statutes. With all my heart I seek you. Let me not stray from your commands. Lord, teach me your statutes. Within my heart, I treasure your promise that I may not sin against you. Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. With my lips, I declare all the ordinances of your mouth. Lord, teach me your statutes. In the way of your decrees, I rejoice as much as in all riches. Lord, teach me your statutes. We honor the Holy Gospel.
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The apostles gathered together with Jesus and reported all they had done and taught. <clears throat> he said to them, Come away by yourselves to a deserted place and rest a while. People were coming and going in great numbers, <clears throat> and they had no opportunity even to eat. So they went off in the boat by themselves to a deserted place. People saw them leaving, and many came to know about it. They hastened there on foot from all the towns and arrived at the place before them. When Jesus disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, for they were, were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. <clears throat> the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So once again, good morning, my dear sisters and brothers. Alam niyo po kahapon, may, dito kami sa may tennis court. Uh, ako hindi ako naglalaro kasi ay pinapanood ko na lang yung mga seminaries lang naglalaro. I, I was planning to play it, pero sabi ko, wag na lang muna. Parang nag enjoy ako na pinapanood ang mga seminarista ang nagte-tennis. At habang kaupo, nakita ko may tatlo kaming mga missionaries na naglalakad-lakad, nag-iikot-ikot. And then, nagtanong yung isa sa mga, sabi, Father, sino po yung mga yun? Eh sabi ko, yan ay mga missionaries natin na nagbabakasyon from the mission. And being a missionary myself, I can really appreciate yung pagkakataon na makabalik, makapagpahinga, makapag-recharge. Usually, ang mga, ang mga terms namin ay every, every three years na nakakapakasyon. Eh, imagine nyo kung gaano kahaba yung panahon na yun, ano? Of course, in between, meron niya mga, mga maliliit na sandali ng pagpapahinga. But my point is, it is a delight to see people stop for a while. No? Not abandoning what they are doing, but stopping for a while. To gain strength, and of course, to gain wisdom. You look at the first reading of today. It is the encounter with God that Solomon was granted what he asked for. Though surprisingly, you know, what Solomon asked for can be puzzling to many. Even God probably was surprised when Solomon, instead of asking wealth and death to his enemies, Solomon asked for wisdom. And God granted him more than he asked for. But my point is, it is the encounter with God wherein this reception of blessing occurred. And so, when we go to the gospel of today, Jesus asked his disciples to come Rest for a while. Rest with the Lord. Have an encounter with God. And surely it will not be a wasted time. Because to be with God is to open ourselves for whatever God is offering for us. And translate it to what we are doing. Ito, what we are doing now is not a wasted time. 30 minutes, 45 minutes. We're always delighted every time we open our live streaming program and start our live streaming. Excited that 100 people, 1,000 people, 
were attuned with us. Because it means that this kind of activity draws people closer to God. And so for us, probably that is the message that we stop for a while and be with God. Uh, madami sa atin, pagod na pagod na eh. May mga parents dyan, mga estudyante, uh, may mga bata na umiiyak na, na stress na, napapagod na <laughs> sa ka-online, sa kamo module Of course, it is a different mode of learning. May mga tao na pagod na sa nangyayari. O hindi nyo ba nakita sa sa ano, sa balita na may umiiyak na yung hindi siya nakasakay sa isang bus? Nakakapagod na, no? And our lives probably the same. And so, do not be afraid no, to take a day off a time from what you are usually doing and spend it with the Lord because being with the Lord actually is already a reward and much more I believe is in store for us and so rest for a while and be with God Amen We have one Father in heaven and one teacher, his only Son. Let us come to our Father, praying for all his children on earth. And we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who exercise leadership in the church may keep their commitment alive in the preaching of the gospel, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That we, who are burdened with heavy work, may come away and rest a while and find peace in Christ, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have abandoned their faith may be led back to the family of God, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That through the intercession of Mary, the sick, may find healing from their infirmities, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may dwell in the Lord's house forever, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we pray for other intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, you call us to be with you. May we be faithful in following your Son on the way to your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Come to me and drink. Come to me and drink. Oh, let all who are thirsting come to me and drink. I will put my spirit within you, and you shall live and know that I am the Lord. Come to me and drink. Come to me and drink, oh let all who are thirsty, come to me and drink. I will pour my spirit on all flesh, your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Come to me and drink, come to me and drink, oh let all who are thirsting, come to me and drink. 
Pray, dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the offerings we bring in celebration of Blessed Agatha win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray, just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr Agatha, poured out like Christ to glorify your name. Show forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power and the feeble bestow strength to bear your witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Indeed, the holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, and make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, our Bishop, Onesto, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed hallowed be thy name. Thy Thy kingdom come, thy thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give Give us this day day our daily bread, bread, and and forgive forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with one another God's peace. Peace be with you. Dear friends, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, behold him, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who bestowed in blessed Agatha a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, to the power of this sacrament that, bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven through Christ our glory. Amen. Amen. Horatio Imperata, merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness in life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people task to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use these medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray, pray for, for our health, health workers work. that they may minister, minister to the sick with competence, with competence and compassion. And compassion. Grant, Grant them health in mind, in mind and body. body. Strengthen their commitment. Protection, protection from the disease. We pray, pray for, for those afflicted. afflicted. May, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our, our Lady, Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calunsoy, pray for us. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Reina de Metz, pray for us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ascended. Let us go to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh, 